hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Ajalam here thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here you're welcome consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that i get to know anytime i post new videos for my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos so today we are going to learn how to make this chinese traditional outfit for a little girl so if you're interested let's get started all right so these are the fabrics that i'll be using for this dress as you can see this plain one here this is a damask so i'll be using this one for the upper parts of this dress and here i have my african print which is going to be for the skirt part of this dress i also have my button this is what um, they normally use for this kind of outfit so this comes in different shapes and size and also in different colors so you can also um, you can choose the one that um, you want to use so I'll be using this for this particular one alright so we're going to start by altering the pattern that is the front pattern which is the main focus of this tutorial so I'm going to keep this aside now here I have my front and back pattern already drafted out and if you're a returning subscriber i believe by now you know how to draft a fitted basic bodies pattern for a girl all right so this is the back and this is the front so i'm going to start with the front so i'll keep this back aside we'll come back to it because of the color you know this dress is going to have a mandarin um, color so we'll come back to the back pattern so this is the main one here i'll open it up now this is a um front as you can see so i'm going to open it up so we're going to alter this like i said now the first thing i'm going to do is to determine where i want the slashing to be all right that is for the front you can decide to make the slashing on this um, uh, left or the right side so i'll be using this right side okay to make that now the easiest way of knowing where to mark the slashing down to is for you to use the chest line point to do that and we already know that the chest line point is just one inch after this armhole that is one inch down it is the chest line when you connect it straight that is the actual chest line so i'm going to mark the one inch down from here so I'll just mark the one inch down okay now this is the midpoint this is the front midpoint now this you can also decide to move it from this other side that is the center point from this shoulder to this center point you can check the midpoint and then connect it from that to this point but for this I will just connect it from this center um, line to that point so it's very easy i'm going to use my um armhole curve and just you know give it the curve here you can decide how you want it if you want it straight or you want it a bit curvy you can go ahead and do that so i'm trying to place mine so that it will be a little curvy so i'll just take it that way Okay, like I said, I want it a bit curvy, so I'll just move it now, and then I'll connect. So this part, there's nothing much to, uh, to it, just play with it. You can also use your free hand and, you know, curve it a bit in, and then make sure that it will match up with the line, that is this point, okay? So I think I'm going to go with this that is already that is curved in a bit all right so this is what I'll be cutting off now okay so I'm going to cut this off and then we are going to when we want to cut on our pattern we'll add two inches to this particular one all right so let me just cut it off okay so now we cannot just place it and um, cut it exactly as it is on our fabric. You need to add extra two inches, okay, so that by the time we join it again to this part, it's going to fit in very well, all right? So this is what the other side will look like, and this is what this one 
will look like that is for the front okay so for the back there's nothing much to it um so i'm going to take this now and cut it on the fabric so we can start sewing so after cutting it out this is what i have now this is the part that we just cut off and remember i said that you'll be adding two inches when you want to cut on your fabric make sure to extend it by two inches so that is what i did here okay so this is the back i just cut that out as well and i use the same fabric as the lining so i cut out two pieces of each one is for the main dress and the other one is going to be for the interlining now this is the other side i also cut that out this is the shape here okay so this is what i have now we are going to join the shoulders together so we can cut out the collar and also the puff sleeve okay so this is how this is going to be we're going to place it this way place it over as i am doing it now make sure that you have your one inch on this side you just place it there and arrange it neatly so i'm going to just pin it first so we can join the shoulders after joining the shoulders we will now um, um add we're going to pipe this part remember we're going to pipe it all the way down to the collar okay so i'm just pinning this so we can take it one at a time so like i said earlier we're going to join the shoulders so we can draft out the collar and it's very easy it's just by taking the back placing it over now making sure that the front is facing each other and then close it on the shoulder line just finish joining the shoulders together as you can see and remember that i pinned this opening at the end of the day we'll come back to it that is after attaching the collar so after joining the shoulders i also repeated the same thing on the lining i am using the same fabric as my lining so this is what i did i just joined the shoulders as well so i'm going to keep this aside now i'm going to check what i have on this neckline this is what we'll use to draft out the collar so i'm going to check what i have from this point to this other point now i have um 18 inches remember that i have my one inch for my um, zipper allowance okay so if you remove the one inch for this side one inch for this other side which is two inches for my zipper allowance the actual neck um measurement is 16 inches but i'm going to use this 18 because i'll be attaching a zipper to this dress so i'm going to take a plain paper now and mark out a straight line that is the 18 inches i'm going to mark it out on a straight line okay so this is 18 inches here all right so i'll just mark this straight and then i'll connect i need to make it to be in a straight line okay so i'll just connect this now straight all right here i have the length marked out this is 18 inches okay and this is the midpoint i just notch uh, mark the midpoint so this part is the front this is also the front you know i am using the full length of the neck uh, that is the round neckline it's 18. so this is the front this is the front and this part is the back okay at the end of the day we are going to open it up here because i'll be attaching a zipper to this so now the first thing to do now is i'm going to start from this front so on this line i am going to mark half an inch 
which is here and then i will square it to this whatever I'm, i am doing here i'm going to repeat the same on this other side of the front or better say you can just use one side to finish all the markings and then you fold it and cut so that by the time you open it will also give you the same thing all right so this is half an inch as you can see and this is the um, center back so all i'm going to do now is to connect it to this point this center back so i'll just take my ruler and keep it this way and connect it straight to that point okay it's just to meet up the line there's nothing much to this part okay so just you know connect it to meet up this line this is the front side okay so after connecting it now from this point i will now mark out this is where you will need to mark out um the width or rather the height of the collar so for this i will make it one and quarter it depends on how bold or small you want the collar to be okay so you can also make it one inch but for this i'll just use one and quarter so i'm just marking out the one and quarter now from this point i am marking out the one and quarter and then i'll connect because i want this to be a little bold so whatever i did here the same one and quarter i am going to mark it on this back point so this is one and quarter here i'll also square it and then connect All right, so this is for the back. I will now place my ruler same way and connect it and we have the collar ready. You can see that it's very easy. In less than a minute, you have your collar ready. Okay, so now this is the collar. This is going, this side is the front, this is the back. Like I said earlier, if you don't want to repeat what you just did, you can easily fold into two this way. Can just fold it into two you can see that when you fold into two by the time you cut this out you are going to have two pieces which is going to be for both the front and the back okay so i'll just go ahead and cut as you can see the color is ready after cutting this out i'm going to show you how to um use your slip pattern to make a puff sleeve like this is going to have a puff sleeve so let me just quickly cut this out so we can continue. All right, after cutting the collar out, this is what it looks like. I just fold and then cut. So I have the um, round the neck collar here. Now the next thing, like I said, it's the sleeve. I want this to be a puff sleeve and to do that, it is very easy. All I'm going to do is to extend what I have on this point and also on this other point now there are so many ways of uh, making a puff sleeve you can use the slash and spread method you can use the one you extend your cutting on this armhole side you can also extend like the one i, I want to use now i'll just extend it here this is the easiest way of going about that so i'll just uh, mark say three inches you can see that i already um pin it on my fabric because this there's no much time to waste so this is three inches here okay so i'll just extend this line to that point okay and i'll repeat the same on this other side so this is very optional if you want you can use the um slash and spread method like i said earlier and you will still get it right so i just extended this then after that i will now connect it straight to this point okay so you just place it straight make sure that it will match up the the sleeve length that is what i am doing now so i'll just connect okay and now this is what i have you can see i just connected that and match it up to the ankle sorry the wrist to the wrist point which is here okay and then i'll just add my quarter an inch for the sewing allowance 
okay and then i'm going to repeat the same on this side now this excess here is what i'll be using by the time we pleat on this armhole okay by the time we pleat we also have it the same measurement that we have here so i'm going to repeat the same thing now on this other side i will just connect it to the wrist as well and then add my sewing allowance and that is it then i'll cut so we can start so we can finish up the dress okay so i'll just add quarter inch sewing allowance i'll also add my quarter inch sewing allowance on this side as well okay so this way you have enough to use to create the puff on this area okay i just added the quarter inch as well so i'm going to cut it now and cut the second one so we can start sewing so here it is after cutting it as you can see this is the extra three inches that i added plus my quarter inch and i added some inches on this um, armhole side now this is the shape that i have here you can see by the time we pleat on this part it is going to give us what we want now if you don't know how to draft a basic slip pattern i'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can check that out um, I have a video step by step on how to draft a basic sleeve pattern. All right, so I'm going to use the same. Um, I'm going to use this same pattern to cut out on uh, for the lining, and then we'll start by sewing it on this wrist side. After sewing it, I'm going to turn it inside out and give it a good press. So after that, we'll now pleat this side. So we're going to take it one after the other. All right, here is the color. As you can see, I have three pieces here. Two is going to be for the main fabric, while one is going to be for the lining. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut each of them into two, you know, and then before you cut, you need to note the part that should be in the front, okay? And you know that this part that is open is the side that should be in the front. So you need to uh, use your chalk to note that before dividing that into two because if you don't do that you might forget and use the one meant for the back side for the front okay so i'm just trying to you know note that on both sides before opening it up okay so this is the front so after doing this now i will go ahead and cut it into two okay so now this part is going to be for the back side. That is the side that will be attaching the zipper. So now to fix this, this is what I'm going to do. Now you know that one is going to cover up for the other one. Now this is the center point. Remember, this is the center point. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these now. Remember, this is the side that should be at the front. And this is how... It should be okay so now all I'm going to do is to place this here and then I'll take the second one and turn it now you see why I said you should note the part that should be in the front and then I'm going to put it under this way as you can see and then I'm going to stitch it till I get to this center front then I'll repeat the same for this other side all right and I'm going to do the same on the lining so let me quickly stitch this and then we we'll finish up all right this is where we are so far and as you can see i just finished sewing the collar to the dress and before we continue i would like to remind us that our monthly online classes are on so if you're interested in any of our online classes kindly check the description box for a number to reach out for more details on that now you can see from this neckline on this other side this is where the collar ends now this is open the reason being that this is going to close up this way okay so you don't need to attach the collar up to this end all right so now i repeated the same on my lining now you can also see that the, your the stitching is inside now if you close it up this is inside so we're going to use our bias now to close up 
this part that is open and to do that it is very easy all i'm going to do now is to measure what i have from this point you know this is where the opening starts from this point measure it down to this back side remember that this dress is going to have a zipper and then whatever you have here you keep it aside and also measure what you have on this point that is from this back zip to this uh, to the end of this collar here all right so for this one i have okay so i have 21 but i'll make it 22 inches okay so i'll just make it 22 inches so that there, there will be no shortage and here on this other part i have this is nine inches okay so i'm going to start with this part that is 22 inches now remember that for the uh, for the bias when you're sewing that you need to curve it in to give it that um, mandarin shape here you know that color the way you shape your um, color on this end so i'm going to use the bias and give it that little curve on this part so this is what i'll be using for the bias i decided to use this instead of the um, african print earlier so i'll be using this now for the skirt part i want this dress to be very bright okay so i'm going to open it up now to cut out the bias all right so we are working with the first line i measured was 22 inches so here i have 22 inches all right so i have this is 22 inches here okay and then i'm going to mark the 22 inches on this side as well all right like i was saying i'm going to mark the 22 inches on this end as well and this is the point here okay so i'm going to connect it now from this edge so i'm going to connect it from this edge down to this point so I'll just take my ruler and place it and just connect. This is now going to look like a triangle. So I'll just take it that way and connect it straight. It's as easy and simple as that. Then I'm going to cut it out. Now this is what I have after cutting it out as you can see this is what we have so on this point now I'm going to mark um, one and quarter I'm using one and quarter so that by the time we finish sewing um, I'll have like half inch for this so I'll just mark one and quarter following this line now and cut it out All right, after cutting it out, this is what I have. So I decided to fold it into two, although I've not given it a good press. Just um, use your iron and press it very well. Just fold it into two. Okay, just that. And then I'm going to open it, this part up. We are going to stitch it on this side that is the longest. Okay. So I'm keeping this aside. So we're going to start with this. So I'll just take this now as it's folded and place it just like this. And then I'm going to pin it all the way down to the other end. That is the back um, side. So I'll just hold it as it is. And I'll go ahead and pin until I get to, this, to the other end like I said. So after pinning it, you are going to use your sewing machine now and stitch it together with this okay so you're going to use your sewing machine and then stitch it all the way down to the other end and then i'm going to repeat the same you know we're going to do the same on this second one okay so this one now we're going to stitch it just from this um, um collar we're going to stitch it Following the same method, that is after folding it into two, you just place it there as well and stitch it 
then getting to this point you just you know curve it a bit and then fold it until you get to this end okay so let me just quickly stitch this so we can finish up all right after piping it this is how it looks remember i said just stitch it all the way down and repeat the same on this other side down to this part now for this piping method i have a detailed video on how to pipe your neckline with a piping cord i'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can check that out to see step by step on how to pipe um, whether the sleeve or the neckline so we're going to continue now i'm going to take the lining part of this which is this one here and then you're going to turn it over now making sure that the front is facing each other this is the right side and you can see that i've added my darts already so you're going to place it over as it is and then stitch it exactly on the first seam using the same method getting to this point you also curve it same way so what i normally do is that i'm going to stitch from this other side so i can see the seam very well that way you will know how to stitch so that you don't end up showing the same line so i'm going to follow this part now the same method just join it together and then i'm going to repeat the same with the other side this is very easy so after sewing it i'll just give it a good press and we're almost done with this so this is where we are so far after joining the lining this is what i have this is the other side of the front and this is the zipper side so like i said when you join you need to close up this part as well okay so that you have a very clean um inseam finishing at the end of the day so this is how i'm going to place it now over like this so this is what we're trying to achieve so i'm going to place it over but before that make sure to give your work a very good press so that all this will flatten up nicely so this is how i'm going to place it then i will open this part up as you can see this is the lining so i'll just open it up and follow my seam inside and stitch it all the way to that neckline this way is going to be closed on this side it will not be opening like this so you just place it that way and sew the sew the inside like i just explained now down to this neck point so that your work is going to stay put so after sewing that you can now use your button and fix it in so i will not be using this because this is black remember i changed the fabric for the skirt part so i'm using this color now so i need to get the color that will match this so after that you just attach it okay after um, stitching it joining it together with this other side then you close up the side and then attach the sleeve now for the sleeve i have a lot of videos on how to make a puff sleeve i'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can check that out also the skirt parts you can decide to make it a three layer a four layer a six layer or a handkerchief um, pattern or um, pleated or even gather skirts it's very easy and i will drop all the links in the description box so you can check that out so this is how to go about making this dress just close the side after joining your skirt part you attach the sleeve and the zipper so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i will see you all in my next video